here. Uh, Senator George but Allen is giving is his conceding. Uh, right. Susan. Susan worked as hard, if not harder, than. All right, we're losing audio right now, but we've been told that George Allen is giving a concession speech right now from Richmond. He's hugging his wife, Susan Allen. Okay, the audio's back. Let's listen. Yeah, let's see if we can hear. We're also blessed with three wonderful children, daughter Tyler and Brooke and son Forrest. I'm so proud of them and their efforts that they made in this campaign as well. All of us and the entire team work very hard to motivate and inspire people towards the promise of the American dream. And as a team, we have campaigned all over our Commonwealth. It's a beautiful Commonwealth with beautiful people, listening to them, learning from, from them, and being inspired by the people of Virginia and their unshakable belief in the promise of the American dream. And tonight, after a very hard-fought contest, uh, we were reminded how closely divided we are here in Virginia politically. And I'm glad, though, that I got off the sidelines. A lot of folks, you don't, you don't like the result of this, re this race, no question about it. But I'm very glad that we did get off the sidelines and get into the fight, to get into the arena, to advocate the ideas and the solutions and the principles that we believe are so important for the future of our country. And there are many people that we have heard from all over Virginia. We've learned from them. We've heard their voices. And it's important for people to advocate for the values and the families of small business people uh, throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia who haven't been uh, being listened to up in Washington. There are many people I want to thank. But first, I, I want to say a word about Tim Kaine. Both Tim and I had the, the highest honor that anybody could be accorded from the people of Virginia to serve as governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. I also had the opportunity to serve Virginians in the United States Senate. Now, Tim Kaine will have the opportunity to serve Virginians in the United States Senate. I've called Tim. I've called Tim and congratulated him. We, we mentioned now we do have different views, uh, different ideas. We tried to wage this campaign on ideas and issues and, and reforms that we feel that would be best for Virginia and America. We'll still remain friends personally, and that's important for people uh, to understand. And uh, I congratulated him, and I pledge my cooperation and support as he undertakes the solemn task of representing the people of Virginia during very difficult times in our nation's history. We haven't succeeded, my friends, in, in winning this election. I see so many of you all out here, Bryce, your lucky tie, uh, and, and many other folks who have held helped us out in this campaign. I think each and every one of you all should hold your heads high because we honestly and vigorously advocated our principles and offered a clear vision for the future. We sought to reinvigorate the entrepreneurial spirit of our country so we can get our economy growing again, creating jobs and a competitive tax system, empowering education, reasonable regulations, and productive energy policy. We offered in our Blueprint for America's Comeback a pro-job growth, pro-freedom path to fiscal re responsibility for our nation and a federal government that lives within its means. We fought, we, we fought for making sure that our American armed services are strong because the best way to preserve the peace is through strength. And we also called for unleashing America's plentiful American energy resources for more jobs more opportunity, greater national security, and also revenues to the government. And that's everywhere from our coal fields to the coast of Virginia. Virginians, I've heard, are ready, willing, and able to provide America with the energy to power our, our economy. Most important of all, we, we spoke to and called upon America to renew, renew our historic commitment to individual freedom, personal responsibility, and opportunity for every American to succeed. What I remember hearing from so many Virginians in so many ways, it was one of the business, small businessman in, in Bedford County where he said, I want the government to get off my back and out of my pockets. And um, I think it would be nice if we had a government that was on the side of entrepreneurs and small business owners. And those ideals did not prevail. 
in the Senate contest here in Virginia. But if America is going to have a comeback that we all hope for, we must prevail as a nation as a whole with these ideas. It may not be tomorrow, may not be next week, and may not be even next year. But these ideas, these principles must prevail because they are rooted in the historic fundamental principles of our Commonwealth of Virginia and America. And these ideals and these principles are our hope for the future. And I pledge my best efforts as a private citizen to promote these positive ideas as I keep fighting and keep advocating for all of these principles and ideals that we all believe in. Now, folks, it has been a, a long and difficult campaign. It's also been a joyful one uh, for Susan and for me, and I also think for our children, as tough as it is. And I thank you, thank you all for standing strong alongside of me. George Allen we, conceding tonight we from have, Richmond. Quite a concession speech there. So he uh, sounds a little tired, and yeah. it's been uh, quite a time. It was, this was really, really close. He called to congratulate uh, Tim Kaine as becoming the new senator from Virginia, taking over Jim Webb's seat. Mm -hmm. The retiring. The retiring Jim, Jim Webb, Webb, and it will stay in Democratic hands.